Hey, everybody. We're <laughs> back. Mark Agnesi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to a brand new week of Guitar of the Day. Woo! Jen is back in the building. She's all tan. She looks like <laughs> Tanny Tannerson, the tannest girl in Tantown. <laughs> well, how was your trip? Did you have a good time? It was amazing. Nice and relaxed. I mean, if, if you see me on Instagram, it was blue everywhere. It was amazing. Gorgeous. Blue everywhere. Follow Jen on the gram gorgeous. gram there. On the gram gram. Oh boy. Uh, so we've got about 96 shout outs for birthdays that we missed. So let's get started. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that to you guys. Oh boy. But yeah, uh, since we've been gone, um, update on Jen's grandfather. Everything went great with the surgery. He is in what ther physical therapy right now, kind of on his way back. Uh, rehabilitation back to walking on his own and then he'll go back home. So thank you guys for all the thoughts on that. Um, thank you. Yeah. Um, a lot of guitars we did are sold. I have to figure it out. I've been frazzled today. I Mike Campbell in here hanging out earlier, doing some stuff, uh, just having fun. <laughs> but the other thing that happened while we were gone, 75 new guitars came in the door because um, we were getting a little oh, thin yeah, there. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're doing GNL Super Strats on Saturday. Shit's getting thin. Yeah, we're <laughs> back in stock again, dude. Not a lot of Strats, unfortunately, but we're back in the Telecaster business. We're back in a lot of businesses that we were missing out on. Uh, and we're back in for Thumping Thursday. There's even some Thumping Thursdays I'm kind of excited about. Don't tell oh. anybody. But uh, we're back. It's freaking Telly Tuesday. This is my pick of the show. It's like a time capsule. You guys are going to freak. Check this out. It's from 1972. Original Fender Telecaster. See-through blonde on ash finish. Rosewood fingerboard. Three-ply white pickguard. Oh, my. Man, it's clean. Wow. It's gorgeous. It really is. I mean, if there's a cleaner one, I'm not exactly sure how. <laughs> yeah, it, maybe somebody would have, might have polished the fingerprints off of the bridge guard or something before they got it. But it is Man, clean. that's, that's yeah. a clean guitar. What is so cool about this guitar, you ask? Well, check this out. Yeah, it's a 72. People go, oh, 70s guitars. Yeah. If I told you that this is a 68, you believe me, right? If I told you it was a 69, you believe me. Doesn't look any different than a 68 or 69. But it's a couple thousand dollars less probably than what a 68 or 69 would be in this condition. And those four years don't really make that big of a difference. It's a polyurethane finish. It's all the same stuff, same pickups, same pots, same decal. There's nothing different about this guitar than like a 68, which is hard to say really about any other era if you think about it. Because if you go four years before 68, you're at a 64, and now you're at pre-CBS. If you go four years before that, you're in 1960, and you got a slab board. That's a Steve Cropper guitar right there. Four more years before that, 56, you're a white guard, see-through blonde, stagger pole guitars. And four years before that, it's a freaking black guard. Flat pole, first year. Every other four years, man, it's a huge difference in price and collectability. This difference in price. Ain't much difference in the guitar. Look at just, I mean, come on. Like, I can see the, the wood on there. It's just like, oh, okay, there's this little knock right there. But I mean, come on. That's a really clean guitar, guys. It's really, really nice. Um, so a couple things, like I said, this is polyurethane at this era, right around 68. It's when they stopped shooting nitro and start using the polyurethane, which is a little bit thicker finish. Um, a little less desirable to, you know, the collectors and people, but that doesn't mean they're not bad. Yeah, it doesn't make them bad guitars. It's just how they did it. Why? Lacquer checking. That thing that we all love so much that gives it so much, you know, radness and stuff. Fender ships a lacquer guitar from California where it's all nice and sunny up to, you know, Minnesota in the middle of the winter. The dealer opens the case. And all the other start getting lacquer checking on there. Well, hey, this is a brand new guitar. I don't want this in my store. And they send it back. They were sick of getting returns. Because the lacquer checking, due to finish, uh, due to you know temperature and stuff, they just started using polyurethane. That's mm. why. Wah, wah. <laughs> Little did they know. Hey, that's a corporation for you. But still, man, it's a clean guitar. Other rad thing at this era, no dark circuit. Love that. So you can actually hear what's going on here. Then you actually get a blend of the two pickups in the middle. And then we get that bridge all honking in the back by itself. Stainless steel saddles. Strings go through the body. Impressed Fender F tuners. Original case, just as clean as you could possibly want. Jen, what do them nails look like, girl? Oh, see what that case they're is. They're white. Oh. <laughs> Bridge cover. It's even got the original strap in there. What a way to, to bring it on back. <laughs> oh, haven't done this in about 10 days, guys. 
Why don't we go plug it in? See what it can do. You're not even rusty at all. That was actually pretty good. Uh, you haven't heard me play yet. <laughs> All right, we're out front. We have 1972 Fender Telecaster, original see-through blonde on ash body, rosewood fingerboard, three-ply white guard. Going through a 65 deluxe reverb reissue from Fender today. All EQs at noon, just a little bit of reverb. Volume's on about six, because that's where I like it. Uh, let's start uh, up on the neck pickup. All by itself, let's see what we got. <laughs> We got both of those pickups working together in harmony. Let's see what we got going there. pick up all by itself wide freaking open see what this thing does when we start hitting it hard Seventy-two original Fender Telecaster, see-through blonde on ash, rosewood fingerboard, three-ply white guard original case, just as clean as you could possibly freaking want. There is your Telly Tuesday for this week. Follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at Norman's Rare Guitars, and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at Norman'sRareGuitars.com. And make sure you join us again tomorrow for another whole new episode of Guitar of the Day. We'll see you then. Peace. Bye. Bye.